can you believe <clears throat> can you believe we are 29 weeks pregnant like tomorrow we're going to 29 weeks pregnant oh my god so what has what has been my challenges so far um weakness so i feel for the past three days i couldn't even make it to church yesterday because i've been feeling weak and then the hunger pangs have been a lot so i don't know if my hormones were not balanced or something because even today i feel very lousy so i realized that after i eat if i do not sleep i will feel very lousy so now that so now whatever i'm doing if i eat i need to find somewhere and sleep even if it's for an hour for my entire system to come back together so i have been doing that I did that, did that yesterday. Although even after I slept yesterday, I woke up feeling better. But after a while, I still felt weak. In fact, today is the first stage in this week. Or should I say, last week. In the last seven days, that I haven't felt very lousy. I'm weak and tired. So I believe my hormones are beginning to balance themselves. <sighs> Third trimester. And before you know it, we are... 30 weeks it feels like time just flew by but then if you've been following these vlogs you know that it did not fly by <laughs> my husband said my face doesn't really show i'm pregnant like i'm not really feeling so swollen in my face but my body i know my body has changed a lot <laughs> i guess i'm grateful that i don't have a swollen nose although i still feel like i'm swollen but then he's the one seeing me so i guess most of the feelings i'm having is in my head really so sleeping is still difficult like because i have to be turning <laughs> and i am monitoring baby kicks so far everything is going well and i'm so thankful to god for strength because there are some days that even to leave the bed to prepare on for school is a problem because i'm so tired my mom is coming in a bit which is a good thing because it would be good to just have her around i think it will boost my mood a bit my husband has been so supportive like i know that it's a lot for him he has been there for me a lot during this period but sometimes you don't even know where the hormones are going to take you to but it's good to have somebody stable reliable that loves you cares for you and all of that so although holidays are beginning soon easter holidays so i'm thankful that i would get some rest yeah I know that I would still wake up the same time, but at least I would not have to think about what to cook, school lunch, all of those things. I'll just get to rest. At the time school resumes, I would be in my... I'll be, th I'll be in 30 weeks. Yeah, I would be at my 34th week. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's already here. I'm a bit anxious though. Because the room is not taking shape as fast as I thought it would. But one day at a time. There's two things we need to buy again one day at a time. So my dad called today and prayed for us. Prayed for increase, prayed for breakthrough, prayed for strength. I received all of those things. Yesterday in church, did online service because I was so tired to go to church. It's as in these days it's like I have to be very careful not to go out because I don't know how I'm going to feel when I go out. Either I feel extremely hungry or I feel extremely tired. So I'm trying to balance it a bit. Alright, so the pastor said we should pick one thing we want for our birthday. I mean, baby's coming for my birthday, obviously. So I just picked um, two things I want God to do for us. And when he does it, I'll share the testimony with you guys. Alright, that's all for now. I'll keep you guys posted. So I just woke up from a nap and now my right leg is hurting me. I don't even know. Like, I don't know it's part of cramps. Because I used to have this, I've been having these cramps on my leg. So when I'm sleeping, I feel it. So this feels like a cramp, but it's just in one place. Very inconvenient. So I've been trying to walk it off. I don't know. Maybe because I've added weight, like the weight of the pregnancy. But I've been taking my calcium religiously. So right now, I even took you the other day like three times. 
I've taken milk. Like I've been really diligent about my calcium intake. So what's going on? I want to wash the dishes and prepare for Shalom's coming back. She's in school. Maybe just be busy. Maybe with time it would go. Or oh, it's a bit inconvenient. Eh? I won't lie. Okay, I stopped right now. God. Update, guys. <laughs> I'm using hard lights to light my so people can see me. I used that ointment and I feel the cramps going away. So, if you're pregnant and you're having, I'm not a doctor, let me not prescribe something. <laughs> But it just works for me and I feel a lot better, so. This is what the face of someone that is 30 weeks pregnant looks like. <sighs> 31 weeks, <laughs> 31 weeks in a bit. And I am clearing up, my mom is around. So she gave me some tips on getting the room ready for our and dinner coming through and so I'm trying to pack some things into the kitchen. I, I made this um, very little cupboard in the kitchen so I want to pack some things there and you couldn't believe what I found. So one of these cartons, I packed some things inside it and I found this. Can you believe it? I bought this a, a few months after, I think the year after I did my omectomy when I was on uh, fertility pills and then I got this and it just feels good to see it now there is a pump <laughs> I know, it feels so good those were hard times, really hard times. 